created this untangle um, that you guys really enjoyed. So I thought I'd share another, uh, this one maybe more Zen Doodle-ish uh, type design that you guys can do. And this one has a really fun way that you can enter um weave some fun kindness words onto the rock as well so the first thing you're going to do you can do this with acrylic paint as well for your shapes here we're just going to start placing down some circular shapes that are coming off the edge of the rock now this rock has a very natural edge since it's more of a square shape um, if you're working on a more round Rock, you can either outline kind of the top to give a border to your design so that it just cuts off at some point in time, or you can have them flowing over the edge a little ways on your rock. I've got four different colors that I'm working with here. I'm just gonna bounce between the different colors in different areas, and then we're gonna fill in in between. So this part's pretty self-explanatory while you're watching. I'm gonna speed it up, but let you see what I'm doing. Once you get to the middle, I got my green kind of creeping in on my pink there. I'll fix that in a second. Once you get to the center, you want to let everything dry well. Make sure you've got all your spaces colored in well. We're going to start going back with our black. I've got a 1M black, so we have the fine lines. We're going to start drawing four arches on each one of our uh, circles. So. Start on the outer edge of your shape to create your outside line, and you can fluctuate how thick between each of them are, but just follow the outer curve, because since a lot of your circle isn't showing, that's the best way to uh, get the right angle. So we've got one is the outline, two is one layer in, three, and then four, just like that. Now they might disappear. You might not get to all four on all of the shapes. Some of them, they're gonna be a little bit different than others, but uh, just work with what's showing. And like I said, you can change the spacing on them. So this one, like the second arch, maybe is down a little ways. One, two, this one can be really close or really far as well. Um, you just follow the same arch and you're fine. So that's three. And then we can have four here. So I'm going to continue this all the way around. Same thing. I'll let you watch, but we'll speed it up a little bit. I'm going to go in and fix this once it's dry so that we have a nice solid difference of colors right there as well. Now, when you get into the center area here, you're just gonna have to make a decision of where you're going to create a, a dot or a circle. It can get as close to the edges as you need it to. Um, it doesn't have to be in the center. And from there, you can create lines out from the circle as far as your design will allow you to. And that's kind of a sneak peek what we're gonna do next. So. A little indent here on my rock. Okay, so now for each of these shapes, the outside line to the next line stays empty. And then the next two lines are gonna be created together with lines. Now you wanna pull them towards seemingly where the center would be, like that. And then after that, we fill in the inner circle. So 
leave it alone, make stripes, leave it alone, and then we're going to fill this black. So then you can take and make your final line look just fine. There we go. Just like that. And we're going to continue that pattern now on each and every one of these circles. So the furthest in again will be filled in black. Leave it full. You can even play with that shape a little bit. Once you've gotten it filled in, sometimes you can decide where you want it to go to. Okay, and then we're gonna do the lines to the center, like so. Okay, once you've gotten all of your design filled in, now if you want to, you can leave it just like this. It's a really cool design as it is. Um, you can easily just do that. Um, you don't need to do this next step. However, I know a lot of people do kindness rocks, so it's really fun. You can add in um, some kindness words on some of your archways if you would like to. One more thing you can also do is add a little bit of shading in on this rock. Really press back the shapes that are underneath. They're all they're kind of stacked and layered. Um, and so the easiest way to do this is just to grab a little bit of water and a very small paintbrush. Get your paintbrush tip just a little bit wet so that you have some moisture you're working with on your brush and you just dab on a little bit of your dark into these corners that's where your darkness is going to be and then we're going to take our brush and just kind of wiggle that in there just to add that little bit of shading down below on your darker areas and just wiggle it on there first if you think it's a little too dark that's okay you can add a little bit more water let's spread it first just get a little, 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 little bit of water on the tip of your brush. And when I say a little, I mean a little because otherwise it gets too wet. I'm going to pull that darkness just a little bit, like so, all the way around the edges. Now that's the deepest, darkest one. So this one, you want it to be kind of dark all the way through like that. Now we're going to work our way from the, the deepest one up. We're not going to have any shadows on this one, this one, any of the ones that are on top. Um, you can also work your way around that way as well. So this one, you just want to do the shadows where it's just showing a little bit underneath and in the corners. The outer tip here won't have any shadow on it. So just add a little bit of dotting of the black, then take your brush and wiggle it along that edge like so all the way around and then we'll kind of push that shape back just a little bit okay like that so i'm going to continue doing that um you can use the darkness that is on your brush sometimes more than once without adding more um paint you see, there's no darkness left there, so if it's a little wet, you can sometimes just come and add a couple dabs. The shadows really help push those shapes down just a little bit. Okay. Once it's dried, you can really tell if you need a little bit more work on it or not.
Okay, so we've got our shadows on there. See how it really makes it have more depth. I think I've got a couple places I might have missed. I can go back in and add a little bit more. I think I missed this one right here. Um, take a second. Once it dries, you can kind of see um, where you may have missed a spot or two. Um, but like I said, you can come on here and add little words on these discs. Like you can write right along here. Hope. You can do it on this upper line here just as easily. Joy. Hope. Uh, where's another good one that I can do it? Maybe on this corner. Joy. And let's squeeze one on this one. Here. And we'll call it good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, inspirational tutorial for you. Maybe it gives you some ideas of something fun and new and different to try. Um, as always, don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, comment. All those things really help support the channel. We really appreciate them all. I'll be back soon with another fun rocking tutorial. Bye-bye now.